this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver! I can see that you're dressed for the occasion. Seen as we're playing a redstone game, William Beaver has decided to show up in costume as a piece of redstone dust. <laughs> Very good, William. And I'm also going to be joined by Polly Reindeer over there and Fizzy Elephant, who has decided to start the day with a firework display. And oh, that rhymed. <laughs> right then, let's uh, go inside and let's go and have my breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. And the delicious Barnaby, uh, you can uh, come with uh, with me, and I'm gonna go. And uh, before we start playing the uh, the race stone mini game, I'm gonna of course go and add someone to my love garden. And the reason I'm adding this person to my love garden is because they added me to their love garden. I'm adding uh, Alfie Jedi, and as you can see, they have a real life love garden that they've just started, and I'm the first sign that has been added to it. So I'm looking forward to see uh, who else they uh, they add after me. But I wanted to say uh, thank you very much, Alfie, for adding me to your love garden, and. Welcome to my love garden. <laughs> right then, let's uh, let's go and start playing then. So I'm going to go to the uh, the, the dog house first, and I'm going to go and uh, choose which dog is going to be joining uh, me today. Well, tell you what, let's take uh, let's take Duncan and Mittens with us to today. Seeing as um. Uh, we're playing a mini game. Uh, they can be the uh, the spectators uh, for today. So let's go and uh, drop off Barnaby first, and uh, let's try and track down where is Duncan. Is this Duncan down here? That isn't Duncan. That is Luna. I'm sorry, Luna. I didn't think that you were a boy. There we go. Here is uh, is Duncan. And let's go and uh, uh, yeah, go and grab mittens from the other uh, the kitty cat condo. And yeah, we're playing the race stone games. If you didn't see the the last episode, uh, it's kind of like um, it's a bit like a board game, I guess. The idea of the uh, the the game is where's mittens? There's mittens. Yeah, the idea of the game is you need to leave it a lead a, a trail of redstone from uh, from your side of the game to the middle to light up a, um, a redstone lamp but at the same time you need to stop the other person from doing the uh, the, the same against you so you can basically block them uh, by placing down redstone repeaters uh, there's also strategies you can do where you break away your own redstone and then replace it uh, in order to kind of have almost two moves in one go and we've had one tester game in the, uh, the last episode with Polly but it wasn't really a proper tester a game because we weren't even playing the uh, the rules properly so it's all it's all pretty new to us so uh, I think during the episode we're going to work out the strategies because at the moment none of us really know the best way to, to win so we're going to be all kind of discovering that to, together and that's why I'm really looking forward to it because I think um I think this is uh, uh, one of the, the ideas that I'm most proud of uh, in terms of coming up with mini games. so hopefully it turns out to be uh, uh, as fun uh, as I hope that it's going to, to be. But let's go and get uh, Duncan and Mittens here inside of the, the, the teleporter, and uh, we're pressing button number two, and uh, I'll see you all in a, in a second. <laughs> right, let's go pull the, the lever, let's go and press the button, and let's go and head off to the Funland. Okay, this is our stop. This is the the fun land. Well, hopefully it is anyway. Like, I don't want to walk out into into nothingness as I go into appear over here. But right then, this is the uh, this is the game. This is a race stone. It's um, it's pretty much how it was in the last episode. We got the entire thing done. Like, I added down a sign and a chest. But apart from that, the actual uh, the actual game is uh, completely done. So just a quick reminder of the of the rules: trail of redstone from any of these redstone blocks to the middle. Pretty much that's the entire game. You can't place the uh, the repeaters on the um on the uh, the the white wall though is kind of the only part of the game and you know what seeing as this is a, a relatively safe game i reckon duncan and mittens i reckon they'll be able to join us in this game we just need to just to slide them out of the the way uh, in case you need to, to place redstone where they're standing and oh it looks like fizzy has arrived <laughs> right then let's uh let's go and uh, begin the 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 game then so uh, we're gonna have a a 1v1 and then another 1v1 and then the winners are gonna face off against each other in the the final so I'm going to go first, and I'm going to go up against whoever stands under this tree first. So this tree that I'm pointing to here, whoever stands underneath it is who I'm going to go up against first, and it looks like it's going to, to be Polly today. All right then, the rematch. Polly and I had a, a game in the last episode, and I did win, but the game wasn't uh, properly working yet. And oh, I didn't mention, there's a trophy. There's a redstone trophy that the winner's going to get, and I'm going to give a, a, a raystone medal to whoever loses as well, because I always feel bad when someone ends up uh, losing. <laughs> right then, there's a, a bunch of, uh, of redstone and repeaters in the, the chest there, in case you uh, you need some uh, some more poly. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, 
and we can uh, go inside here and we can uh, we can begin the game. So it looks like uh, Polly's going to go on the, the the lime green side. I'm going to go on the uh, the the dark green side. So uh, do you want to press the uh, the the button, Polly? And then this is going to decide who gets to go first. And there is quite a big advantage to going first. And oh no, Polly is going to get to go first. And whoa, here comes the tidal wave. <laughs> that also happens when you press the the button. Right then, Polly. Polly, you can begin. So I'm going to have to uh, to have my work cut out in order to to win this round because it is quite a, a big disadvantage when you're not able to to go first. But hopefully, if I can still uh, have the other uh, the better strategy, hopefully it's going to still help me. So let's go straight away and just try and start blocking off Polly. So you can see that when I do the um the the repeaters i kind of do them pointing towards that side so that means she can't use the repeaters you could do them side on uh, which can sometimes have a, a good uh, uh, strategy uh, but generally you want to just do them pointing just to, to use them as a as a blockade so polly's going there let's go and uh, try and get one straight trail getting as close as we can to the the middle and uh, why might is i actually just do a, a few trails if i do a a trail from these uh, these different sides then i can have like a, a few different options uh, for for how i want to to go and uh, make my way to the middle and oh looks like Polly's breaking redstone so she can now place two pieces so that's kind of the uh, the other rule I told you about where if you break away your own redstone uh, you can then go and uh, replace another piece of redstone and look at Polly being mean completely blocking me off right if you're gonna block me off then I'm gonna block you off as well <laughs> I like William jumping up and down trying to, to poke over the, uh, the the top there. If you want, you could build like a, a ladder or something uh, so you can go and, uh, and climb up and see that way. And oh, I'm getting a bit worried here because Polly's getting quite close to the middle and I haven't made some very good progress here. Let's go and uh, let's go and block this off that way. Uh, then that way she won't be able to, to get anywhere further this way. But to be honest, I think I need to, to start moving mine uh, to, to get a, a little bit closer in, in this direction because she's actually not got that much closer than me, to be fair. Uh, it's not a it's not a, a huge difference overall. So let's go now and uh, let's start trying to to go this way because of course you know the more straight down the the middle you can go, the the more it's going to to benefit you. So really uh, that is kind of the 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 route that I'd like to go. Looks like Polly. Oh look, Polly's trying to to block me off there. That's kind of quite a weird place to to place it. So what I might do is I might break away some of this redstone and then start trying to, to go this way uh, in order to, to go closer in this direction. I can see Polly there just loitering around, ready to, <laughs> to, to block me off uh, again. Uh, let's go and place the next one here, maybe. And maybe I can go and loop around this side. It's always quite good to have just some redstone just placed anywhere, like, randomly about. Because whenever you want, you can just go and break that. So now I can break this redstone, and I can then place one here and then here to, to kind of help me get past the repeaters and Look at this! The tables have turned a little bit now, though I think I've definitely got closer uh, to the, the middle than uh, than Polly has. It looks like she's going to go back to, to her side and start trying to, to build across the middle. So how far away is she? One, two, three, four. And then, oh no, she is still she is still much closer to the, the middle than, uh, than I am. But uh, what I can do is I can break away this redstone and then go one, two like this, uh, just to, to get myself a little bit closer. It's actually really equal right now. It looks like like she's trying to, to block me uh, off again, uh, but that doesn't matter too much. I can kind of keep going straight ahead this way. Uh, you don't have to, to get this um, block there as long as you light the, um, the the lamp. It doesn't really matter which side you, uh, you do it from. So uh, that's kind of the good thing. So actually what I could do is break away this redstone here and then I can kind of go one, two, like that, uh, to try and go this way, uh, to, to get across the, uh, the the middle of that side. She's determined <laughs> to, to block me off. But tell you what I might do, even though I do need to, to replace it at some point, I could like break away this redstone here. I just want to get past that repeater. And now I can go one, two, like this. And I'm getting very, very close now. <laughs> so uh, I might still be... um. And yeah, I might still be able to, to make it. Looks like Polly's kind of going back to her own side. I really just want to make it to here. So it looks like the redstone stayed lit up, but that's only because of um, this uh, here. The trail doesn't actually reach the, uh, the the redstone, so I wouldn't win even if I make it to it now. I still have my uh, my work cut out uh, a little bit. So uh, let's go and... Uh, well, let's once again, let's go and try and break away this redstone here, and then let's go... Uh, one, two, like this, and let's try and get this trail so it links up to the um the the repeater, and then I only need 
to, to worry about the, the other side back here and uh, linking it up that way. So I'm kind of doing the, the game in reverse almost because once I get to that, that white wall, then she can't place any uh, any repeaters down there. So uh, that means uh, that I will be able to... Uh, yeah, she, there's not really much she can do to block me. So if I do that there, she can't place any repeaters there. Um, it means that I just now need her to, to go back and link this back up to, to one of these redstone blocks. <laughs> I can see her there thinking as hard as she can to try and work out. And oh no, she's blocked off my path from that side. That has definitely made things very difficult for me but all of this redstone here I can kind of switch it around to try and maybe link it up with the the other side so tell you what let's go for a completely different strategy let's go and start breaking away all of this redstone and uh, let's start going down this side here I'm just trying to, to play as offensively as I can but oh no look Polly's starting to build closer on this side this is going to be a, a little bit of a race she doesn't have much redstone that she can um uh, she can use her to, to place back there though. She can't break anyway. So tell you what, if I block her off now, she's going to have to to go the entire way around, placing one piece of redstone at a time, uh, whereas I can uh, go and place uh, more than uh, than one at a time. So uh, let's go now and break away more of this redstone and go uh, once again, two blocks straight up the side. All I need to do is make it link up with these and then I will be the winner. But look how close she is as well. Right, I need to go and block her off again. Uh, here, let's go and place this here because otherwise I think she might end up up winning. I can kind of just keep uh, pushing her back that way uh, while I try and uh, uh, go up the other the side there. And oh, she's breaking, breaking the wrist. And oh, look, she's doing that to loop around the other side. That was a, a very smart move. I would expect nothing less from her uh, from Polly, though. <laughs> and look, she's doing the same strategy again to build around that way. Oh, no, this isn't looking very good for me. Let's try and keep blocking her off. If I keep going this way, though, I might be able to, to block her off all the way to the, the wall, uh, and then she'll have to go the entire other way around. I'm not sure. She seems to, to be kind of keep switching, trying to decide uh, which direction she uh, she actually wants to, to head into. This is actually a really intense game, and this is just the uh, the first game of the uh, the, the tournament. <laughs> you can see her there thinking as hard as she can, and oh, that was an interesting place to, to, place, the, press the, uh, to place the redstone. I think she's trying to save that spot there, so I won't be able to, to block it off later on. Right, let's take that as an opportunity uh, to go and start replacing this redstone over here. So I broke that away. I can now place two to here. I just need to, to link it up uh, with any more of this uh, this redstone uh, over on this side over here. And I'm getting pretty close to it as well. Uh, remember, I do need to, to light the lamp though. So I do need to uh, to place the two bits of redstone dust there. And it looks like she's going back on the, uh, the, the defensive now. It looks like she's uh, coming back over to, to my side to try and block me off. Uh, I have plenty of redstone that I can break away though. And that's going to make things much easier easier for me because I can still break away all of this redstone here. Uh, but for now, let's go... Um Let's kind of go straight up to, to this repeater. And now I'm getting really closer. I am getting really, really close. I know she's going to keep trying to, to block me off, but I think that's okay. I think I still uh, might be able to, to make my way past. Yeah, look, I can go one, two, and then that's going to link me up there. All right, let's break away this redstone here. I can go one and two. And look at this. I am so, so close. <laughs> Only two more pieces of redstone to, to place. And then I'm going to, to be the, the winner. I can't believe Polly was so much closer to me. But I do believe I am just about to win. There we go. <laughs> I was able to light up the redstone in the middle and I was just about able to win that game. That was so intense. <laughs> I honestly did not think I was going to, to, to win uh, halfway through that game because Polly got way closer to me way quicker. But somehow I was just about able to, to win. So good game, Polly. Uh, sadly, you came close, but not close enough. And what? What has been going on in the background? I didn't even notice that until now. <laughs> Fizzy is building a treehouse. Right then, Fizzy, you've got to come out of your treehouse now, though, uh, because you are going to be going up against William Beaver. So uh, what we can do is uh, we can press the button, and that's going to, to reset everything. And we're also going to find out who's going to go first. So if you go and pick your uh, your sides, uh, so it looks like Fizzy's going to be going first because he's on the uh, the dark green side, and uh, then William is going to, to be going second. Uh, the water is going to go and get rid of uh, all of the redstone, and... Yeah, sometimes the water stays on for some reason, but it just does it randomly and I'm not sure why. But no worries, I can just go and uh, uh, get rid of the, the water like that and go and put it back inside of here and uh, do the, the the same down here on this side like that and go and put that down inside uh, of there. And right, the uh, the game is uh, is ready to, to begin. So I'm going to go uh, up into, uh, into um, 
at Vizzy's treehouse and uh, watch the, the game from up there. And uh, seeing as that... Oh, how do I even get up there? I can't even work out how to get up to the, the top up there. Uh, yeah, seeing as that game uh, took so long, uh, I think I'm going to, to speed up the, uh, the the video watching this game uh, so we can see exactly how they they, they, uh, they play, uh, but just to, to make sure we have time for the uh, the entire tournament. So uh, let me just go and uh, try and get a, a good perch up at the uh, the, the top, and then I'm going to be able to, to follow all of the action. So of course, whoever wins out of this game is going to be the uh, the person that I'm going to be going up against in the grand final. I also want to be watching carefully uh, because this is going to be a chance for me to, to kind of watch and see their strategies a little bit, uh, just to, to know uh, what I'm going to be facing against in the uh, the, the final round. So here we go. I got a, a great view up here uh, so I can see the uh, the entire game. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to speed up the, the video now uh, until we have a winner. And Fizzy Elephant is the winner. That was a really smart strategy. You can see that uh, Fizzy was kind of building up like a little collection of redstone down here and then just broke them all away to lead a, a trail straight to the, the, the front. So well done, Fizzy. So that looks like uh, that means that... um. Uh, yeah, it's going to be me and Fizzy going up against each other in the, the final. You can see that William Beaver strategy was to, to kind of go in reverse, to build all of the, the redstone up here and then use it going back in the, the, the other direction. And oh, I think someone <laughs> accidentally pressed the button then. Uh, yeah, uh, to, to kind of do it in the, the reverse order, which does work. It really doesn't make a difference. You know, you kind of have the uh, the, the same, uh, you know, amount of distance to, to travel uh, as, you, uh, as you did last time. But anyway, uh, Fizzy and I are going to be going up against each other. So do you want to be on the, the, the dark green side i'll be on the uh, the the lime green side and uh let's say uh, i'll go press the button again because we weren't really ready for that i don't think that's uh <laughs> that's uh, entirely fair so let's go press the button and it looks like it's lime green anyway so it looks like it was a uh, uh, definitely my go first so right then this is the the grand final then wish me luck it's going to be the cat versus the elephant so i get to to go first this time and uh let's just go and start by just doing a uh, an old-fashioned straight trail down the uh, the, the very middle uh, just to, to get as close as I can. It does seem like a, a good strategy. And oh, Fizzy's doing it in reverse. <laughs> it does seem to, to me uh, to be a, a good strategy uh, just to, to build up a, a good supply of redstone at the, the start. So then you can go and uh, start breaking it away if you uh, if you need to uh, a little bit later on. So at the beginning, I'm going to go and try and be uh, as uh, offensive as I can and to just keep charging my way through the, the middle. Like even though it's getting blocked up by William, uh, not by William, sorry, by Fizzy, uh, it does mean... That like if need be, I can just break away the the redstone and uh, use it later on, uh, just like I did last time. But so far, I've managed to I managed to, to get a little bit way through the the middle uh, by just simply placing it. You can see uh, Fizzy's kind of going in this direction, so it feels a bit weird. But I'm kind of gonna block him off in this direction now, just to <laughs> to make it so uh, he needs to to go and uh, travel a, a little bit further and. Uh, yeah, he is actually kind of going straight through the, the very middle there. It's actually uh, pretty equal at the, the beginning, even though it might look like I've made it further. Uh, the fact that uh, he's kind of built this side already uh, might make things uh, a little bit easier for him uh, a little bit later on. So uh, let's keep with the strategy. Uh, seeing as uh, he's not blocking me off at the moment, let's just keep kind of charging forward as fast as I can. I know he's going to start blocking me off soon. So tell you what, let's go now and start building in the, the other direction as well, uh, just to be prepared for when he starts blocking me off. You can see him kind of trying to do the the same thing here and uh, just build up a, a supply of redstone back there uh, which he can use uh, later on if he needs to so let's go and uh, immediately go and start blocking as much of that off as we can and there we go now he's starting his offensive now he's starting to uh, to start moving them uh, across a little bit so let's go and do the, the same let's go and uh, start trying to, to push a little bit further to the middle this is so fun because it's such a new game and we haven't played it before. Like, none of us have worked out what the best strategy is. Like, every single game, we're just trying something new, and no one really knows the best way to, to do things. So, <laughs> every time we play it, it ends up being completely different. Fizzy definitely seems to like the uh, the strategy of building up uh, a supply of redstone and then using it, uh, using the breaking redstone technique in order to, to push towards the, the middle as fast as we can. Right, now though, what I want to make sure I do is I block off this redstone. He's obviously trying to, to link these up here and I want to, to make sure that he can't do that so oh look he's gonna try and go through them to get to the other side there I think right let's just make sure that he can't get to that redstone or at least try and slow it down uh, to, to make it more difficult uh, for him to, to be able to, to get to that redstone a little bit later on and oh no 
I think I've upset him because I started blocking him off. I think he's decided to block me off. But actually what I can do now is I can break away. Uh, let's break away this redstone here. And now I can go one, two, like that, straight down the, the middle. That might be a good strategy. Hopefully he doesn't block me off there, though. And, oh, okay, I can still kind of get around the, the corner here a little bit. So it's my goer again now. So let's just go and uh, place uh, more redstone down the, the, the front there. Let's not worry about breaking away any of that now. And, oh, okay, he's breaking away his redstone as well. Looks like he's going very offensive. And, oh, I didn't realize. I didn't realize how close he was to the end. Okay, he's very close to the end right now. Right, let's, um... Let's uh, carry on uh, blocking off this area of redstone here. So let's go and do- You can't- You can't stand in the way, Pity <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> you can't just stand there eating cookies to block- I want to place the redstone there. Excuse me, Fizzy. Let me place it. There we go. <laughs> There's Fizzy's new strategy. To stand around eating cookies where I'm trying to, to place the, the redstone. <laughs> it's not quite in the, uh, the the rule book that you're not allowed to, to eat cookies in the other person's way. But let's, uh, let's assume that that's not very a uh, sport like <laughs> and you can see that he's there really thinking as much as he can he's trying to, to link these up here I think I have a, a good chance now uh, to try and have another go so let's go and uh, let's go and break away this redstone here and then let's go one two here and oh look at this I am so so very very close to making my way towards the the uh, the the end uh, let's see what fizzy decides to do it looks like he's trying to block me off there I could though try and just make my way uh, to this white wall there so I still have a few more bits of redstone I can break away so let's break away that and let's go one two there and I'm getting very very close now fizzy I am though running out of a uh, of other redstone that I can use to, to break away is the uh, the only problem though. Uh, but hopefully I've got close enough that it shouldn't make too big of a difference. Because if you look, Fizzy only needs to link up this last section here and then he is going to be very close as well. So uh, I think though, if I break away this redstone, I think this might be enough for me to win though. I can go one, two and... Oh no! Why isn't it lit up? Oh no, I need to place another repeater. I didn't place a repeater. The trail isn't like lit up enough. But look at that, it's only one block away. Okay, it's Fizzy's turn now. Is he able to, to win from just this go? I don't know if he can, can he win? Can, can he do it? He can! And Fizzy Elephant has won! <laughs> Look how close that was! This redstone is all linked up, but it runs out of power right on the very line there. I needed to place a repeater on my own side to be able to win. Oh no, I thought I was going to win, but I lost by just one move. What an amazing way to end the game. And whoa! Hello, William Beaver. Have you been keeping yourself entertained? <laughs> oh, I think he's had the... Um the afternoon being target practice for the uh, the local wildlife by the, the looks of things but well done Fizzy Elephant you are the champion and I've got a prize for you as well Fizzy Elephant here is your race stone trophy let me just go and try and okay I'll throw that down to you there and then there's the uh, there's the uh, the race stone medal as well and I guess that uh, William Beaver and um and Polly Reindeer, they can go and share this. So there we go. I'll pass that to you, William Beaver. <laughs> you look like you need cheering up, seeing as you've been shot by an arrow so many times. I can't believe that I thought I won the game, but I just didn't have enough power to reach it. That is such an unbelievable ending to, to Ray Stone. And that game is so much fun. We will definitely uh, be coming back to, to here in the, uh, the, the future and uh, playing that game uh, more uh, in a, uh, another video. Uh, but for now, uh, we have Fizzy Elephant as the, uh, the, the champion, uh, me in second place, and then Polly and William in, uh, in joint third. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!